guys! So today I wanted to talk about something that I get a lot of questions about and that is my hair. Um, a lot of people on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter always ask me a bunch of questions so I kind of wanted to do a like two-part series video situation where this video I'll be talking about my hair care routine so basically the products I use and the order I use them that kind of stuff and then the next video I will actually show you how I curl my hair. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be a fun video. For a little background information on my hair, I the actual hair itself is pretty normal. It's not too fine and it's not too thick, but I have so much of it that I consider myself a thick-haired person. Um, it's always been that way. I've always had a ton of hair. And yeah, um, when it dries naturally, it dries kind of straight, wavy, but it's super frizzy to the point where like it is not cute. You'll see in the next video when I show you how I curl my hair. But um, yeah, as far as the color, this is pretty much natural. Um, for a while, I dyed my hair dark. Um, if I can figure out how to insert a picture, I'll do that now. Right after high school through most of college, my hair was really, really dark. Um, I liked it, but eventually it was just kind of a lot of work, and I kind of felt like it was washing me out because I'm obviously very pale, and yeah, so I just switched it back up to my regular color, which is kind of like strawberry, dirty blonde. Um, a while ago, I dyed it a little bit red, but that's pretty much all gone, except for when I'm in the sun and it's like beating down and then I look like strawberry shortcake, but... Oh well, so yeah, let's just hop right into the products. I wash my hair at night because it takes all night to dry. Um, I don't like to blow dry my hair because I have so much of it and it takes so much time, so I don't, and I just wash it at night. And I've been using this shampoo and conditioner for a really long time, and this is probably my favorite um, hair care brand, and it's from the drugstore, and it is the Organics brand. I use the um, Cherry Blossom Ginseng shampoo and conditioner. I've tried other ones, but these ones, the smell is my favorite, and I don't know, I just really like it, and it's pink, so yeah. Um, you know, I will switch it up sometimes, like right now I'm trying to use a bunch of samples that I got, so, you know, I'll use up a sample, use this. I don't really know a whole lot about that rumor about um, your hair getting used to products, but I've been using this on and off for quite a while now. I, you know, even if I try to switch it up and buy something else, I always come back to this. So, my favorite shampoo and conditioner. Then after I get out of the shower, I discovered this last year and it has changed my life. And it is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri-Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I have long hair, it gets pretty tangled in the shower, and, um, yeah, so this is kind of been a lifesaver. I just, it smells amazing, number one, and you just kind of spray it all over and then brush it through. And I just got this last month, but it has also been a life changer, and it is the Tangle Teaser. I got mine on eBay. Um, I was having trouble, no, eBay or Amazon? eBay. I was having trouble finding it because on the website it didn't have like a shop place. It just told you kind of where to get it, and I was confused, so I just was like, whatever, I'll eBay it. As I mentioned before, my hair is pretty frizzy, so I like to try to use a product to get rid of the frizz. And although I haven't really found like a miracle defrizzant um, cream or serum or something, um, I kind of just try to use something to at least eliminate a little bit of it. And um, right now I've been using the Rejuvenating Cherry Blossom Ginseng Miracle Defrizzant Cream, also by Organics. It's the same scent as my shampoo. Oh my god. It's the same scent as my shampoo, and I like the way the smell lingers in my hair, mainly. Um, this, I don't know if it even does a whole lot, to be honest. Um, so, I'm just trying to try a whole bunch of different defrizzant creams to find one that works for me. So if you know of one, let me know in the comments below. Then after that, I am done with my wet hair routine, so I will go to bed or do whatever until my hair dries. And then when I wake up in the morning, I always usually curl my hair. Um, in high school, I always straightened it, and I don't know, I just, I feel like lately when I try and straighten it, I feel like there's too much of it, and it just overwhelms me, I feel like. So I feel like the curls kind of make it look a little, you know, messy and nice, and I don't know. I just prefer curls, so I usually curl my hair. And before I do that, I like to use the Blow Pro Heat Is On. Um, and it's a hair protectant from um, Heat. <laughs> heat 
protectant, not a hair protectant. Um, I found this through Birchbox. I absolutely love it. It smells really good. The packaging is so cute. But you can get this at Ulta. Um, and I think it's like $18 or $22 or something like that. And I really, really like this. So I just spray this mainly on my ends before I curl my hair. And then I curl my hair, which you will see in the next video. Um, it's not anything super special, but I figured I'd show you guys since I get so many questions. And then after I curl my hair, I like to put on a serum or something to kind of just, you know, make it look nice and glossy. And my favorite one is the Oscar Blondie, um, something in French or something, hair serum. It's a jasmine hair serum. I, I think I got a sample of this through Sephora, and then I fell in love the way it smells. And also, I just really like what it does for my hair, so I picked up a full size. I don't remember how much this was, but um, it's lasted me quite a while, and I love the smell, so I will keep buying this. Um, I definitely do not wash my hair every single night. Um, I, I shower every day, I just don't wash my hair. But I usually can go up to two or three nights without washing it. Um, second day hair is always really great for me. I don't ever have to use dry shampoo, but third day hair I usually do. The, like from here down is fine, I can just get some you know, grease situation up in there. So I like to use a dry shampoo, and lately I've been loving the Oscar Blondie Pronto Invisible Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This is a little sample size that I got in a birch box, I believe. Um, I've really been loving it. Before this I was using the Suave one, which I know a lot of people like, and I really liked it, but it just, it got in my mouth and it like lasted there all day, and I don't, that sounds really, really strange, but that's why I won't use it, because it like gets on my skin and I don't even know. There must be some sort of, like, awful chemical in there that, like, I don't even know, man, but... So when I got this, I was like, oh, I'll try this, and I've been loving this, so, yeah. I am also not a huge hairspray person. I always definitely have it on hand in case, like, I'm going somewhere fancy and definitely want to make sure that my hair stays in place all night. And so when that happens, I decided to pick up the Healthy Sexy Hair um, Weightless Hairspray, and I really do like this. The reason I don't like to use hairspray is because it gets crunchy, and I like to have my hair last for several days and just feel soft, and I'll be able to run my fingers through it without worrying about like it looking all crinkly and gross. Um, this is not completely crinkle-free, but it's definitely a lot better than a lot of the stuff I've tried. And I just really like this line, so I wanted to try this, and I liked it, so yeah. And one last thing, as far as like treatments go, um, I definitely love hair masks. I don't use one every single time I wash my hair, but probably every other time, and I have a few different things I like to do. Um, the first thing is a hair mask by Organics, and this is the, um, oof, I don't know how to say that, Repairing Awapuhi Ginger Instant Recovery Mask. Um, I re I've tried a couple different masks from the Organics brand. I like the Moroccan Oil mask. The best, but I don't have that one right now. I'm trying to use up this. Um, and it's pink! Yay! So yeah, I'll just kind of put this from here down, put my hair up in a bun, and just kind of let it sit for five to ten minutes, and then I'll shower and do what I showed you that I do in the shower. Um, so yeah, I really love this. But also, a deeper alternative I like to use is the, and it's talked about a lot on YouTube, this is how I found it, it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Hair deep repair mask. Um, first of all, it smells really good. Yum. Here's what it looks like. Um, I don't know, it's just, it just makes my hair really super soft and I like to have super soft hair, so I really love this. And then also in one of my beauty subscription boxes, I got the um, Macadamia Natural Oil Heal Healing Oil Treatment which it says on the back of this to use by itself or you can pour some of this into your palm with this and then put it on as a hair mask and I think that works really really well. Um, this was a very generous sample size so this is probably going to last me a while and yeah so I really like this line and I definitely recommend checking them out. Ooh. So that is it for my hair care routine. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe found something that will help you. Um, again, this is just what works for my hair. You know, I know we all have super different hair, but I just thought that since I got so many questions, I would let you guys know. Um, so stay tuned for my next video on how I curl my hair, and I'm going to try and take you guys into my bathroom and just curl my hair while you guys watch. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.